Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. I have this hotel project in Mykonos, which I made last year using, of course, KNX. And now it's time to create a visualization for it. My plan for now on is to use in my projects visualization servers from different manufacturers in order to test as many servers as I can. So for this project I have selected the server from Comfort Click. Comfort Click has developed the Comfort Click building operating system known as BOS for homes, offices, hotels, or any other smart buildings. Comfort Click offers a complete range of servers or BOS license to use with your own hardware. Since I have a hotel project, I will select the Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer is a very powerful server and it's ideal for big projects like apartments, hotels, hospitals, etc. Sledgehammer comes with a BOS Pro license and includes 20 individual users. Users can have their own credentials to log in, can receive messages and alerts, and can have their own visualization theme. But even with only one user, BOS software can be used on limitless number of mobile devices. So for my project, 20 users are more than enough. In order to connect Sledgehammer with your KNX installation, you will need a KNX IP interface, or a KNX IP router, or a KNX USB interface. My Sledgehammer has just arrived. Let's unbox it. Inside the box you will find a quick start guide, the sledgehammer, rack mount screws and the power cord. This is the Sledgehammer server. On the front panel of the server you will find the power button, the reset button and status indicator LEDs. On the side of the device you will find a sticker with a serial number. 
This serial number is the access ID of the Comfort Click controller. Access ID is a unique name that along with username and password are required in order to connect to your BOS server. On the back of the controller you will find the power socket, one RJ45 IPMI port. IPMI stands for Intelligent Platform Management Interface and provides remote server management regardless of the installed operating system. To enable IPMI management, plug an Ethernet cable from your local LAN into RJ45 IPMI port. Scan your network using an IP network scanner. On my Mac, I use LAN scan. And locate the IP address of Super Microcomputer. Then open a browser and type its IP address. Username is admin with capital letters. You will find the password on a sticker on the one side of the server. From the management interface, you can power on and off your server, restart it, you can check server's health and many others. Except the IPMI port on the back of the server, you will find two USB 3 ports, four Ethernet ports, one VGA port, and one communication port. Now it's time to install my server into the rack. First, plug an Ethernet cable into one of the Ethernet ports. And then plug the power cord. Mount the server into the rack. To configure the BOS server, BOS configurator is required. Go to comfortclick.com. Click on login and create an account in order to sign in. Then click on building operating system and download BOS configurator. Install the BOS configurator. There are a couple of ways to connect to your BOS server. Connect locally. Your PC with BOS configurator and the BOS server must be on the same network or connect remotely either using port forwarding TCP port 443 which in my opinion you should avoid or using the cloud gateway connection from Comfort Click. It comes with a small lifetime price but since it's more secure for you and your clients it's totally worth it. I don't want to work in the noise environment of the server room so I will use cloud gateway connection and I will take my laptop and work somewhere nicer. From the BOS configurator, click the three lines button on the upper right corner and then click Add. Type the access ID of your server. The default username and password is user and pass. Click OK.
This is the welcome screen of the BOS configurator. On the left side, there are the main nodes. Under each node, there are additional subnodes. And on the right, there are the parameters of each node and subnode. The first thing that I'm going to do is to register my server under my Comfort Click account. From Building node, click on License. And then click on the small settings button on the right. On the Parameters window, click on Edit. Log in to your account on Comfort Click web page. Here I can change the server name. For example, Poseidon Tech Hotel. You may also change the access ID, but for now I will keep it like this. You could also add an image from your project. When done, just click on Update. Now my controller is registered in my account. Expand General node, select Users and the default user. Click on Change Password to change the default username and password. BOS Configurator will ask you now to enter the new credentials. So, that was the first part. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, I will show you how to add KNX devices. So, stay tuned. If you like our tutorials, support our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Like and share our videos. And if our tutorials help you to grow your business, Become a true member of Poseidon Tech by clicking the Join button. If you want to learn more about our services, visit our website.